Don't be afraid by me looking at the question. It's very easy to solve. Let's go. Solution. This is y 16 raised to the power y equal to 2 raised to the power 2y. Let me make the base of this side and this side to be equal. So that I'll have y raised to the power 4 raised to the power 2. 16 is 4 raised to the power 2. And it has power y already. So 2 times y will give you what? Y. This is equal to 2 raised to the power 2 is 4. And it has power y. You have something of this nature. This thing and this thing are the same thing. So what did I do? I have been able to make this thing, these two bases to be equal. So that division will be easier for me. Let me divide both sides by 4 raised to the power y. Divide this one by 4 raised to the power what? y. Then 4 raised to the power y divide 4 raised to the power 2y. This is division. Then the bases are equal. That division law of indices. Pick one of the bases, which is 4. Subtract the exponent. 2y minus y will give you y. Then this one divides itself will give you 1. Then at this point again, I can divide both sides by y, divide this one by y, simply because they say that y is not equal to 0. Then when I do that, I will now have that 4 raised to the power y is equal to 1 over y. The next thing is to make sure that y is not here. And I can only achieve that by raising this one, 4 raised to the power y, raise it to raise to the power 1 over y. If you do that here, do that also to the right hand side. Then raise this one to 1 over what? y. By doing that, y will divide y, and the only thing left here is 4, is equal to 1 over y, raised to power 1 over y. If you come to this right hand side now, the, this is the base, this is the exponent. The base and the exponents are equal. Therefore, if I make the base of this one and the exponent to be equal, I can now do comparison. What will I do? 4 is 2 raised to the power 2. This is equal to 1 over y. Raised to the power 1 over y. So you can see the base and the exponents are equal. Base and the exponents are equal. So I can quickly equate either of them. So 2 is equal to 1 over y. And if you solve this thing, you have that y will give you 1 over 2 as our final answer. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.